ever try to put together like one of those, uh, you know, those prefab bookshelves? Oh yeah. And the instructions might as well be in a different language. Absolutely. Bureaucracy, right? It's like yeah. its own special kind of confusing. And it feels like, you know, getting behind the wheel of something bigger than your car, even more of a maze to navigate. And that's what we're doing today. Buckle up. DOT physicals. Yeah. We want to operate those big commercial vehicles. We're going to break it all down. Yeah. So first things first, what exactly are we talking about when we say DOT physical? Right, got to decode that jargon. Exactly. Well, it's a medical checkup. Basically, they want to make sure you're healthy enough to handle, you know, driving a big rig, a bus, any of those big commercial vehicles. Makes sense, right? Safety first. <laughs> For the driver and everyone else on the road? Absolutely. This isn't just about, can you see? Okay, here's your license. It's yep. about the physical and mental demands of the job. You're driving a massive vehicle. Huge responsibility. Exactly. So what do they look at during this physical? I bet it's a lot. Yeah, they're pretty thorough. I mean, you got your standards like eyesight hearing. They're checking that blood pressure, doing a urine test, the whole nine yards. They don't mess around. Okay, so eyesight hearing, those are obvious for driving, but how does blood pressure, even a urine test, you know, play into all of this? Good point. Well, think of it this way, eyesight super key for things like checking those blind spots yeah. right especially with those massive trucks and hearing you need to be able to pick up on those weird engine noises you know stuff that might signal a problem before it becomes a major issue like a mechanic listening to an engine for that one clunk exactly and those other tests the blood pressure the urine test that gives them a picture of your overall health are there any red flags that could you know affect your driving in the long run it's about catching those things early. Exactly. Now, speaking of health, you know a lot of our listeners are concerned about something in particular. They want to know, how do medications factor into all of this? Like, if they take insulin, blood thinners, pain meds, sleep aids, you know, ADHD meds, or even benzos, these are common medications. Yeah, huge concern. And it's smart to be thinking about this stuff. Unfortunately, the source we have today, it doesn't really go into detail about specific medications, you know, which ones are okay and which ones aren't. Which is super frustrating for a lot of drivers, I bet. But it's not like a dead end, right? Uh, no, not at all. The biggest thing is to be upfront with your doctor. They understand the regulations and they can advocate for you. Your doctor can write a letter explaining your situation, like, you know, how your meds are managed, if oh. they impact your driving, which for a lot of people, their meds don't affect their driving at all. That's a really good point. It's all about communication. Have that conversation. Absolutely. Okay, so we've talked about the ins and outs of the physical, but there's this other thing, this kind of intimidating acronym. It's GVWR. GVWR. Which stands for? Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. Catchy, right, but in plain English. It's the maximum weight your vehicle can handle safely. That's the simple version. Okay, so that weight, that GVWR, that determines what kind of license you need, right? Bingo. And this is where it can actually work out in your favor. You see, if you're driving something under 26,000 pounds, you might be able to get away with just your regular driver's license. You'd still need that DOT medical card, of course. Interesting, so there are some loopholes but I'm sure it gets complicated, oh, right? Absolutely. Never assume. Regulations are different everywhere. Depends on what state you're in. Even the type of vehicle you're driving. Like, you know, don't go trade in your truck for a minivan thinking you're in the clear. Double check everything. I always read the fine print. Exactly. So say you've aced your physical, your paperwork's all good, the weight's all good. There's something else to think about that we haven't really touched on. The mental side of driving. Oh yeah, I actually did a ride along with a long haul trucker a while back for a research project I was doing. Mm. Fascinating, but man, talk about intense. The mental stamina you need for that job, mm -hmm. it's incredible. Traffic, deadlines, being alone for long stretches, it's a lot. That makes a lot of sense though. Our source really focuses on the physical, but you're right, the mental part of driving, especially if you're doing it professionally, that's a whole other aspect of safety. It's like anything else, you know, you gotta take care of your mental health, just like you take care of your physical health. So true. Well, to wrap things up, if you're getting ready for that DOT physical, remember it's more than just checking boxes. You're making sure that you're healthy, both mentally and physically, because you're driving these huge vehicles and that's a huge responsibility. Right, knowledge is power. Exactly, <laughs> know what to expect and you're already one step ahead. 